Hello Floss Tube. Welcome to Grandma's World. I'm Debbie. This is about stitchery, about cross stitch. And um, I don't have a lot. Well, yeah, I do. I have a lot <laughs> sitting over here. I thought I didn't, but when I started gathering it together, it kind of grew. But I am trying to stay focused um, on cross stitch. I have um, so Becca Sambri Stitches is getting the blame or the credit for having really introduced me to the entire world of Ray Dunn and so I keep bringing things in which is frustrating in a way because I've spent three years trying to get stuff out of here um, but someone commented uh, the last time I complained about that hey you know in with the out with the old in with the new yep <laughs> that's what's happening um, but again, that's going to be in the playlist, and I think it's going to be called Grandma Heart Stuff um, when I start doing those again. So for right now, there might be a thing here and there, but but mostly it's going to be cross stitch. That said, going to get to it. This I I have been working in the in that since the last um, post on several different things. This one I really would like to get done by Thanksgiving and I, so I said, well, you better get going on that if you're going to finish it. Um, and I have to say I love doing those vines. Um, the pumpkin is fine. I'm not, not as fond of it as I am the, the vines doing the swirly things. But this is where I got, got it started. And I actually had done a lot more work on the pumpkin, but I had to tear it out because I got distracted and had to pull two rows. Um, it, there, it was an issue because it has these seams in it here. You know how like a pumpkin is kind of bumpy around the edges. And so to um, keep that going properly, I had to take out and then re-stitch the two rows that I had messed up on. Um, it's this is a fun stitch. This is by Cherry Hill Stitchery, and it's called an Autumn Wish. I did some on that. I did not. I think I have done a little bit on a stitch for Sweet Freedom. Um, Lindy stitches. Stephanie Webb. Oops. I should have taken that out of there um, but I don't remember I don't remember what was in the last one so just hold it up again kind of feeling like I'm not gonna get this done by the 4th of July this year because I keep getting distracted by other things happily distracted but I keep getting distracted and then I did some stitching on Shores of Hawk Run Hollow. This is the Shores as it was designed. And I think I have explained that I have a story I want to tell with it. The story of Sam Bellamy and the Widow Pirate Ship that went down off the coast of Cape Cod and was found in the 1980s. Um, and so I bought two additional um, Carriage House Samplings books, um, Christmas at Cross on Hollow and Halloween at Hawk, Cross, did I say Cross on Hollow? Good. Yeah, my mind is definitely better without the sugar. Christmas at Hawk Run Hollow and Halloween at Hawk Run Hollow. I bought those two books so that I could move things around and this is what it will look like when I'm done with it. I also made a change here um, by taking these two fish out and putting in a great white shark. I didn't do the tree in the middle here and I'm working on, I'm going the wrong way, working on the moon over here. And I got some on, done on it. Not a lot because I keep getting distracted. But that's where I am. 
and I'm excited to move on with it, to get that done so that I can move to the next blocks because they're, they all look like they're fun to do. The, um, the ha this house, the schooner in the middle, the, um, oh, wait, I'm looking at the wrong one. Look at this one. This is what the one I'm working on. This house. I, this is from, this is from the shores of Hawk Run Hollow. I just moved it to here. Then I'll do the schooner. And this house is from Christmas at Hawk Run Hollow here. And then this is from Shores of Hawk Run Hollow, as is this. But this is from Halloween at Hawk Run Hollow. And then the, the memorial block is going to be at the end on mine. So, um, so I just love it. I love working on this. It's so much fun. Um, and it's for, for all the detail in it, it's not a difficult stitch until I'm not focused on what I'm doing and then I create problems for myself. The um, piece that I've been working on the most, as I was purging stuff, I found two pieces that my mother had given me for my birthday one year to go in my guest room, which is ocean themed and has mermaid stuff in it. And um, I found this tray, it's a metal tray, uh, the kind of a Victorian era looking mermaid on it. And I thought, it occurred to me that I could finish this piece, It's a Mermaid Life by Tiny Modernist, um, with the uh, magnets on the back so that it could fit in that, on that metal tray. So that kind of said, oh, I want to work out on that some more. <laughs> I want to work on that some more. So here is the model by Tiny Modernist. And I've made some changes. I took this lighthouse out. I took, I've already explained most of them. I took the, these mountains out. I took the palm trees out. I put the um, island that I see when I go whale hunting in there. And then um, I took, I put the lighthouse on it. And because I put the lighthouse on the island, I could take out this lighthouse. And that left me open sea here. So I've added a couple of more whales. Um, lately, when we've gone out to see the whales, um, they're calving, they have calves with them. And so I decided to just uh, replicate. This is the one here that was designed in and there was a big one here and then a little one out so it looks like it's in the distance but I'm gonna uh, what I did was put this one here and then put the little one in front of it and now it looks like it has a calf. So I got that done and then I continued with the ocean population down there added a bunch of fish. Um, so I'm now I'm focusing on this part here of the design so that I can move it up um, I'd say it's just a little bit over half done and I need to move the, the fabric up. And that's it as far as accomplishments. And to do a little bit of haul, I'm really, believe it or not, I'm trying to cut back on haul. Partly because I have so much, I have so many projects to do, and partly because I want to build up my savings again so that I can travel. And um, it's leaking out to stitchery shops faster than I can replace it. Um, I bought, and I think I showed this last time. Let's see where it is in the stack. I bought Sweet Land of Liberty from um, Cherry Hill Stitchery. And I ordered fabric from Vintage Needle Arts. Um, I think I showed this last time. I want to put it in a little house, a little patriotic looking house. 
And so I think if I do it on 20, that it will fit in there. And I didn't have any appropriate 20, so I bought this one. Here's what I'm kind of aiming for. So I got this one, and it is called Almond Butter. This one is called, I, I do this when I order from her. I'll order like three different ones that look good in the picture, but I'm not sure what they're going to look like when they get here. So this one is called um, Irish Cream. And I think this might be the one I end up using. The one I was most excited about from the picture, the way my monitor reproduced it. And my, I know that my colors are a little off on my monitor. Was this one? It's called Fire. And um, what I liked about it, I thought it was more like this color with splotches of red in it. And then when it came here, it definitely isn't that. Um, but it's also definitely a really gorgeous fabric. Um, and I'm going to look forward to using it on something else. It's, it's been, it came on a roll and I've smashed it and so it has all these lines in it. The lines are not in it, in the color. It's a pretty evenly um, splotched. It does have an occasional splotch like here of red. Um, as you can kind of see that. Vintage Needle Arts. It's an Etsy shop. My Vintage Needle Arts, all one word, is an Etsy shop. My Be Stitch Me came in. And this is Phoenix. I could probably cut back on some of this to rebuild that travel savings some. But I, there just are two things that I can't bring myself to stop and be stitch me as one of them. The monthly fabric is so much fun to get. And the other is my Garen Toten bag, which was, I just loved it. This is two months in a row. They've just made me giggle and laugh when it comes in. Timing's good too, since I was getting my food straight again and, um, could, you know, was in a more positive place to receive it. I um, don't have a project in here right now. It was convenient. I had to go, I have to renew my passport. And it occurred, and I, I had to renew my driver's license in June. And so, um, of 2020. And we were still locked down. The DMVs weren't open by June of 2020. So I renewed my driver's license online. Unfortunately, you couldn't put real ID on it online. To do real ID, you have to take the documents into the DMV. So I, and it dawned on me, if I send off my passport and have an, uh, an opportunity or a need to fly domestically, I won't be able to fly because I won't have the real ID. So I decided to go, and as I drive to my mother's house, there's a DMV, like a left-hand turn, and you're in there. And I kind of pre-filled out some of the forms, but I one of, one of the documents didn't upload right. It was gonna take five days just to finish that part, and then there was gonna be a three-week wait. And I just decided on my way to my mom's, I left real early and pulled in and got it taken care of. And this was what was convenient to put all the documents in that I needed to do that. So now I can ship my, I went and had my um, passport photo taken. I loved my last passport photo. Uh, it turned out, I know people don't really usually like their driving license or their passport photos, but it turned out really nice. I looked halfway decent. I looked good, as a matter of fact, in it. This one has been 10 years, and man, I have aged <laughs> in this one. Um, and I, so I have plenty of gray in my hair. And, but on the, the photo, the way they took it, first of all, she said, use the neutral expression. 
that was the best I could do. It's like my hair and skin and lips and everything are all the same color of gray. So, kind of washed out, but there you go. At any rate, so that's what I used it for. It doesn't have a project in it yet. Um, I also bought, someone did this. Someone on one of the groups I'm in posted this. It is like a hundred times cuter than this in person. The printing it out just kind of washes out the vibrancy of the colors. But once I saw the picture of it that they'd finished, I had to have it. Um, so I ordered that. And this is um, a Shannon Christine pattern. I also ordered, uh, I think it was either Stars and Stripes or something like that. One of the patriotic ones that I kind of had in my wish list from her when I did that. Um, I can't find it. So it'll show up as I keep plugging along in here, I'm sure. Um, I have a subscription to Readly. If you're not familiar with Readly, it is a like a clearinghouse for magazines. It's $9.99 a month. And it has access to hundreds and hundreds of magazines. And a lot of them are my favorites. Um, Birds in Bloom for gardening. I really enjoy that one. And, um, well, there are some quilting magazines in there too. But there are a lot, about a half dozen, I think, cross-stitch magazines. They used to have cross-stitch crazy, which was my favorite cross-stitch <laughs> magazine. And Cross-Stitch Crazy stopped publishing, or the, the company that does all those UK magazines stopped doing Cross-Stitch Crazy. Um, but there's still plenty, just Cross-Stitch is, is one of the things they offer, and Cross-Stitcher is one of the things they offer. The Just Cross-Stitch is important because I think the last time I checked, they were still offering the 2016 year, plus the special, um, the the um, Christmas ornaments and the Halloweens, and that's the one that Priscilla and Chelsea's um, line that they collaborated with Kathy Haberman. That's the the one that that's in. So all of those patterns are accessible through that service, um, and I think they give you 30 days free at the beginning, um, but you'd have to check on that. At any rate, they, um, the new, some of the new cross stitch magazines are coming out, and I had to go look at just cross stitch, and had to have another one so I can print them off. You, um, I go through it on my iPad. I um, take a screenshot of each page that goes puts it in my photo gallery. And from my photo gallery, I can print them out on my, uh, my Hewlett Packard um, printer that I, ha I bought because of um, their instant ink program. Um, you can tell I'm really fighting to stay focused on this right now. Um, um, um. It will send it. The, I the iPad will use AirDrop to send the screenshot that is in my photo gallery over to my printer, which is a Wi-Fi printer. So at um, any rate, take me to the sea. Oh my gosh, did I fall in love with this one? This is the one I'm thinking about putting on the, um, did I already tell you about this? Uh, the metal, it was a metal tray with a mermaid on it. Can't wait to go back and listen to this again and tell you what story I said about that because it was this pad, I'm sorry, this chart that I got off of Readly off of um, Just Cross Stitch was what I thought I would put on there. I think I'm going to leave the sailboats off and just put the water and the whale. Um, I also went, today is World Oceans Day, so um, I'll talk about that in a minute for plans, but just cross stitch had take me to the sea cross stitcher also had some ocean related um charts but they had this um alphabet that is absolutely the best sea related alphabet that i've ever seen it is really a fun alphabet of course i can't show the charts but um, i printed this one out as well 
in other haul, I decided to check it out. I sent, I went to Annabelle's, Annabella's, excuse me, and ordered punch needle in primitive stitcher. And now I see what all the excitement is about. What a fabulous magazine. I wasn't inspired really by anything in here to put down what I'm working on now to get started on them. But there sure was a lot. Like here's this one. That might make a cute pillow, a small um, to go. I'm, I'm still looking. I think I may have found a pot that these pillows would look cute in. Um, but I'm still keeping my eyes open for the right piece right in there. Here's Stephanie Webb's, um, an ad, just an ad for her um, newest design. Lindy Stitches, Cats in the Garden. What does she say about it? Excuse me. Um, four part Cats in the Garden series. Each cat is my new favorite. the only thing that's ever inspired me to try punch needle and I actually have punch needle stuff I think um, but I have goldfinches outside my bedroom window and I just love them they are so much fun so anyway I'm going to take this to my mom and let her um, oh and here's um, Priscilla's new design summer design and this is why I bought the magazine I think I want to do this. Um, I don't know how I'm going to finish it. I don't think I'm going to do all, I'm not going to do the check around it. I just want the summer with the sunflowers and the bee skip for my summer um, entry display that I do every year. So that was cool. Speaking of Priscilla and Chelsea, I went to my um, local uh, fabric store, my quilt store, um, and I usually find stuff in there, and I did this time, although it's not always my song that that store is singing. Um, but as I was checking out, um, and by the way, it's an old friend of mine who owns it. So I was checking out, and we were chatting, and my mind, my eye just kind of wandered to the, what was displayed behind me while I was kind of waiting for things to happen. And there was a bottom shelf on this display and Chelsea's checks and Priscilla's pretty plaids were in a row there. And I, I just felt like I'd met a celebrity. And I said, oh my gosh, you have Chelsea's checks, Priscilla's pretty plaids and Chelsea's checks. I have a nice stack of Pr Priscilla's pretty plaids. I don't didn't have any of Chelsea's checks yet, and she had them in fat quarters. So I just and I said, you, I said, oh, these were designed for finishing cross stitches. She goes, they were. <laughs> I said, yeah. I said, I was so excited to find them here. So that, and then the last thing, this just arrived today. This is another one of those just reach in and grab me by the heart so that I have to order it right now. I don't know about getting it started right now. I have to go check my fabric stash. Um, it's possible that one of those that I got from um, Vintage Needle Arts would work, but I don't want, I want it bigger. I, I want it as big. I don't even know how big it is on here. Let me look and see. Well, let me show it first. This is, I think it's an older pattern. That is the copyright with a needle and thread. Oh, 2015. It's this nest. I ran to get it just based on this here. I it was love at first sight. That typography on there is gorgeous. And then while I was ordering it, I noticed there was actually a nest on there. Right here, a nest, a bird with baby birds. How perfect for me. So that was my most recent purchase. It's about to turn off. 
Um, plans, I'm going to work more today on Mermaid's Tail, and then I will decide. I, I think I might get back to a stitch for Sweet Freedom just to see if there's any possibility I could get it done by the 4th of July, but I have too many overlapping goals here <laughs> to um, really make any commitments. So I'm going to stop because I'm almost to 4 gigabytes and the camera is going to turn off and um, hope you're having a wonderful summer. Um, mine is definitely on the upswing. I didn't tell you. Um, I'll say goodbye now and then I'll tell you. I took my car in for, for maintenance today. The last time I took it in for maintenance, we ended up doing $1,200 worth of repairs on it. Um, I had just paid it off and I had the money and I said, do it. I want this car really ready to be a my retirement car. And so today I took it back and the bid or the estimate was $127 and that's exactly what it came out. They didn't find anything else wrong. I just wanted oil change, filter, tire rotation, and check a few other things. And they, the tires are fine, the battery's fine, everything is fine. And Mazda is such a fun place to just go sit. There's a movie on that I have to track down. It's called Now You See Me. And everybody was in that movie. Uh, I'd never heard of it. Um, and so now, yeah, I guess now I'm ready to stop. <laughs> I'll see you, in the, see you next time. Bye.